Good Tuesday morning, everyone. It's a nice, mild, and muggy start to the day. Maybe you're getting ready to hit the road and have a nice little jog outside, if that's you. Enjoy the run here this morning. Uh, if you're getting ready to take the kids to school, it's nice and mild as well. And really looking at minimal chances for a few pop-up showers and thunderstorms throughout the day today. Nothing at all from what we saw yesterday. Let's start you off with the latest allergy report. We'll get another update today at noon, but the trees are in the absent category, grass and weeds in the low, and mold in the moderate category. Today's climate data, the average high is 88. The record, though, is 98. No records expected today, but that heat index value will start to push the mid to upper 90s today through the next couple of days. Take a look at this storm system. It went packed a punch over the last 24 hours as it raced its way across the upper Midwest, producing wind damage over 450 miles wide, or in length anyways, meaning it was a derecho, uh, a wind event storm, if you will. And that's what we were talking about, and Todd was talking about it last night as well. Uh, but uh, just a plethora of wind damage reports across the upper Midwest. We were tracking it, but it weakened as it moved its way on in. So it just brought us a couple of uh, light showers here this morning. And that's about the extent of it. And that's about all we will see out there so far to this morning as well. So really not looking at a whole lot of rain this morning. And uh, we should see a little bit more, a lot more sunshine today with a couple of pop-up showers and thunderstorms. In the grand scheme of things, 20 to 30% chance of rain at best. I just don't think we'll see a whole lot. The atmosphere is pretty stable even here at this hour. Current temperature as you step outside, we're now sitting at 72 with a dew point of 69. Uh, temperatures are trending about where we were yesterday morning, so no changes there. By lunchtime, we should be in the low 80s. That's where our high was yesterday, by the way. Uh, then this afternoon, we should make it into the upper 80s. Going 89 with a heat index value pushing 92 to 95. And then a, this evening dinner or bedtime tonight, temperatures will dip down into the upper 70s to low 80s. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off in the 70s. And we'll do it again tomorrow. We're talking highs right there near 90 tomorrow, Thursday, with heat indices mid to upper 90s. But we'll stay in the upper 80s as we head into the upcoming weekend, probably increase the coverage of rainfall as we round out the weekend, head into the